G'day there, you're watching the Aussie Boom Guru, and today I've got a quick video to deal with uh, Dynamo versions, uh, specifically which version should you be using, because I know this is quite a confusing topic for people using the software. So um, why am I doing it? So uh, there's a lot of versions in use by my viewers. I'm starting to get questions from people that typically relate to certain nodes not working in certain versions, or things that I'm using that aren't available in earlier versions of Dynamo. Um, so some versions aren't compatible with certain things. Um, new versions typically are superior to older versions and will have more features and people tend to build for them as well. So how do we check our Dynamo versions? So there's a really easy way to do that. So in Dynamo, if you go up to help, about, you'll see your subversion here. So you can see that I'm running in 2.0.3 currently, which is up to date. And you can also go to the Dynamo website from there as well. So that's a really easy way to check. Um, so beyond that, uh, we'll go through common versions of Dynamo. So there's a lot of old versions that are basically 0.x versions. Uh, a really common one I saw was 0.9. Um, they, these are really old now, so I wouldn't recommend using them if you have them. Um, at the very least, I recommend being on version 1.3.4. So the 1.x generation of versioning. Um, th this will be relevant because certain versions have to run on these versions. Um, I'll, I'll run through that shortly. From there, we look at our, our generation two versions. So we have 2.0, 0.1, 0 0.2, and 0.3 typically. Um, I typically build in 0.3, uh, but any of these are quite similar in functionality. Most of what's happened between these three is hot fixing. So minor issues they found or bugs that need to be resolved. But we typically call those 2.x or 2.0.x versions. And then we've got 2.1 um, and beyond, which is the current build of Dynamo, but there's some complications with using it that I'll run through as well. So typical defaults, I think prior to 2018, if I recall correctly, I don't believe Revit comes with Dynamo installed, so you had to, to manually install it uh, from the website. Uh, since 2018.2, I recall that Dynamo, I think, came as version 1.3.2, and 2019, I've only ever seen 1.3.4. Um, I'm not sure if that was the default or if it was still 1.3.2, but again, it came packaged with Revit. Uh, Revit 2020 comes with 2.1.0, uh, which is a different build, uh, so we'll run through that as well. But let's look at the website really briefly, just to see how we can find builds of Dynamo. So this is the homepage on dynamobim.org uh, slash download. Um, so you'll see that we have Dynamo Core, or just the overall Dynamo, which is currently at version 2.1. But our currently endorsed build of Dynamo is 2.0.2 for 2017 through to 2019. So this is the one they recommend using uh, currently. But there's also a lot of builds. If you go onto resources, builds, you can go to a page and find pretty much every single build of Dynamo that has been released over the years, um, all the way back to 2014 in December. So um, a lot of history there. And there's all sorts of versions you can download here. Typically, I recommend always using the most stable build um, rather than the daily builds because these are more experimental and these are typically uh, not a stable build yet. So you can see here, for example, we have 2.0.3, uh, we have 2.0.2 and 1.3.4, 2.0.1. So there are major builds that we typically work with um, depending on which version you're in. So in my videos, I use uh, at the start, I use Dynamo 2.0.2 and maybe about 30 to 40 videos into my production around the Learn Dynamo series time, I switch over to 2.0.3. Um, there's a few reasons for that, which I'll run through. So it's really important to understand that if you install version 2.x, say version 2.0.3, it won't replace uh, any version one builds. So Dynamo will give you the option to work in one or the other because there's a quite a, quite a big change in how Dynamo works between those two builds. So I think Autodesk understood that they, they needed to be able to support both. Uh, so if you have scripts that you need to run in version one, that's okay. You can still open version one separate of version two. Um, in terms of what's compatible with certain builds of Revit, uh, I've highlighted the, the, the builds I recommend uh, in yellow. Uh, and I've drawn a line here because you'll notice that after 2016, uh, Dynamo version two came in. But Dynamo 2 isn't available in 2016. You have to work in Dynamo 1. Um, and Dynamo 2.1, you'll see, is only compatible in Revit 2020. So really important to understand that. You can typically work all the way back in Dynamo, but I find if you go before version 1 in, say, Revit 2017 to 2019, you can see some strange behaviors um, where there's some nodes that have changed quite a lot in how they function. So really, this is the, the recommendation of how I say you should work through Dynamo. 
Um, it's important to understand too that people build custom packages for Dynamo, but they don't build them so that they support all versions of Dynamo at the same time. They'll typically follow the latest version with a small amount of overlap as new builds are released. So someone wouldn't have changed from 1.3.4 1. to 2.0.1 the day that 2.0.1 came out, maybe a month later once they'd rebuilt, rebuilt all their packages, then they only built for version 2. So it might look a, bit, a little bit like this. So, so let's say if someone's made version 1 of their package in 0 0.9. They'd release it a few times with a few changes to suit 0.9. And between version 0 and version 1, um, there wasn't a great deal of language change. So they could typically work between both versions with their packages. But at a certain point, they started using new features from version 1, uh, say version 1.3.2. Um, at that point, you wouldn't expect them to work the same way in any builds for 0.x. Uh, likewise, because there was such a big change in the language between version 1 and 2 of Dynamo, uh, they literally made the jump. Most custom packages are either made into two custom packages, one for Dynamo 1, one for Dynamo 2, or they've just abandoned Dynamo 1 basically, and their packages are built entirely to work in 2 instead. So just understand that if you stay behind, you're not really getting the most out of your custom packages. It's why it's always good to keep ahead. Um, so one to two. So there's a lot of changes in the Dynamo language. Um, 2016 is basically segregated or locked off uh, from builds in 2.0 and beyond uh, because of this. And there's a great page you can go to on GitHub that explains all the changes in detail. But a few examples, um, when you call on a list in a code block, in Dynamo 1, you used to use uh, what they call curly braces, uh, those brackets with the little ticks on them. However, in version 2 and beyond, you use square brackets instead. So if you wrote code blocks in a script, um, you would have had to go back and replace all your brackets in the upgrade. So it's just important to understand some of those differences. Likewise, you can see here uh, list flattening. So I actually had a user who commented and um, was having trouble getting one of the script cells showing him to work, uh, my shared parameter script. And um, I realized quite quickly that he wasn't using version 2.x. He was using uh, one of the 1.x versions because I could see that he'd used a node uh, which was a flatten with no amount specified, um, which was actually managed out in version 2. So you can see here, if I use the flatten node and I don't specify the amount of flattening in version 1.0, it doesn't work. It needs uh, an input. Um, so as a result, they used to have two nodes. One of them was this node. The other one is one without the amount that just fully flattens a list. Um, but in version two, they consolidated those two nodes into one. And now if you leave this empty, it just assumes that you want to fully flatten the list. So you can see the difference between those two builds and how they work. Uh, so really important to understand. Um, also 2.0.3 versus 2.0.2, um, as I mentioned, I changed between these two versions during my tutorials. And the main reason for this is that actually a lot of clashes started occurring between two of the most popular custom node packages in Dynamo, um, which are Archilab and Clockwork. Um, and these were fixed in 2.0.3, so I really had no choice but to make the jump, because I use these packages quite a lot. Um, there's a lot of hot fixes as well. Uh, that were added in the process. So I highly recommend if you're on 2.0.2 or 0.1, um, just go to 2.0.3, it's, it's far superior. And there's not really any damage that can be done to your scripts in this jump. Um, you can just really solve problems. So 2.1.0, this is the version in Revit 2020. Um, do not install it in any versions before 2020. You actually can, if you try to install 2020 with the EXE off the website, it will let you specify it for earlier versions. If you do, uh, Dynamo will no longer open in earlier versions before 2020, and you'll have to do a full uninstall, uh, probably clear out your registry, so it's a real pain. I did it to my session when I was testing, and it took about two days to get Dynamo working again, so don't install anything before 2020. It's really important to understand that Autodesk has sort of set their, their stance on Dynamo in 2020 and beyond. They've said that Dynamo shouldn't be managed uh, with version controls outside of Revit anymore. So 2.1.0 was actually installed when you launch Revit 2020. And their opinion is that if Revit updates with a patch, that's when they'll update Dynamo. It'll be interesting to see how this goes, if any bugs actually appear in Dynamo, how they'll actually deal with that. Because um, they'll have to essentially release Revit updates in order to update Dynamo, which can be quite chaotic. Um, and 2.1.0 is their only supported build, which is quite surprising. It means that essentially if there's any problems in Dynamo before then, 
they won't respond to your questions. They'll say, sorry, we don't, we don't support those versions, so we can't help you, um, which is a little bit disappointing, but I guess it makes sense given that they weren't super involved until 2020. Um, and they say that one version is not supported across multiple Revit versions, and this is just because 2.1.0 doesn't work before Revit 2020, so that's their stance. So very interesting. Um, and I'll always try to help you, even if you're not using the build of Dynamo that I'm using, but just try to understand that sometimes my answer may be um, you need to change builds of Dynamo, um, otherwise the script, the way I'm building it, just won't function. I can try and give you ideas about how the script could be built differently in earlier versions, but sometimes it may not be possible because new features are being added as Dynamo uh, ages and improves. So thanks for watching today, and I hope that sort of clears up some of the confusion that's uh, been around versioning of Dynamo. And if anyone's going into Revit 2020, um, I'm going to be lagging a little bit behind. So hopefully 2.1.0 doesn't have any major changes versus 2.0.3. Um, until then, I guess, um, yeah, just let me know if anything funny happens and I'm, I'm not able to deal with it. Um, but thanks for watching today, and if you're not already following and subscribing, um, feel free to do so. That was probably quite a meta video for my current subscribers, so probably most people already are subscribed anyway. Um, thanks for watching today, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, take care, bye.